Hello and welcome to my Jasper.ai review in 2023. Here I'm going to be giving you a demo and then of course talking about my pros and cons when it comes to this AI software tool. First things first, if you'd like to follow along or test out Jasper, I highly recommend it. I will put my link down below in the description and if you click that you can get a free trial, follow along and test it out for yourself just so you can see how much you like it. Let's begin. So there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to like with Jasper. First things first, I do want to mention very quickly their brand voice feature. This is something that's brand new, but it's very important. I think you're really going to like it, especially for the fact that what it allows you to do is to create content that's very consistent with your brand voice. Here I already have my voice, but what you can do is give it a name, neither paste the URL of an article you created, or just kind of put in a blurb here. After that, it'll analyze the text and figure out what your voice is like so that it can create content that's going to be contingent based upon what you would write. This is a fantastic feature because with many AI tools, you might write something, but you're not comfortable putting it onto your blog because it just doesn't sound like you. With this, you can solve that problem and write consistent content, something you're going to really like. Next, just quickly looking at the Jasper.ai templates. From my count, there are around 74 of them. As you can see right here, they're going to be categorized into different sections, like as templates for ads, blogs, businesses, creators, e-commerce, emails, frameworks, Google marketing, newer ones, SEO, social media, video, and website. And of course, you can go all the way down here. If my counting was off, uh, I don't think it was, but around 74 or so. Allow me to give you an example using one of them that I really like. It's for the AIDI framework. And this is going to be when it comes to Jasper.ai and copywriting. So this is going to be for a made up product just to show you how templates work. Very easy process. I called it the Relentless Creator. Okay, so it says the Relentless Creator is an over the shoulder training course that shows online business owners how to create videos in any niche without filming any videos yourself. Sounds pretty cool, right? If I was going to create a course like right now, I'd probably do something like that. Of course, here's my tone of voice that I utilized previously so I can create content that's going to sound more like me, more enthusiastic, more straight to the point, you know, factual, stuff like that. Let's click on the generate button and see what we get for content. All right, so that's the cool thing about Jasper.ai templates. Very easy to utilize. Just simply enter in the information on the left, choose how many inputs you want to generate at once, click on generate, and here we are. I'll go through this very quickly. So are you sick of wasting hours creating videos without seeing any results? The Relentless Creator is a thorough training course that will teach you how to quickly create quality videos for your business, regardless of your niche. You'll learn the best practices and strategies from experienced professionals so you can start producing content faster than ever before. And with our step-by-step -step instructions, you won't have to worry about technophobia holding you back anymore. All right, so that's great. I'm actually not going to read the rest. I will keep that up. You can pause it. But something I found with Jasper consistently, their quality has been fantastic. Top tier. Great. You rarely see it ever go off the rails or at all. It's just always been two thumbs up in terms of the quality of the content. And that's something I really like about it. Let's move on to another great feature when it comes to Jasper, which is going to be Jasper.ai chat. Pretty simple. Just another great way of generating content. Content. Whether you want to ask a question, put in something specific, it's going to be up to you. And once again, we can utilize our brand voice as I have right here. So you can see that's already attached. So it says James. For this, I just put write the introduction script for a YouTube video about combining AI content with YouTube videos. Let's click on send and see what we get once it's done loading. So welcome to the channel where we explore the latest trends in video content creation and marketing. Today we're discussing how to combine AI technology with YouTube videos to take your content to the next level. AI has come a long way in recent years and its impact on online video industry cannot be ignored. So we'll be exploring the ways in which AI can help you create more effective, engaging, and personalized content for your audience and so on and so forth. I don't know about you, maybe it's just the fact I'm reading it, but it sounds like me which it should since I'm reading it. But overall, I love the overall brand voice. This is something that's newer. That's why I talk about it so much. It's such a great improvement on this software from a software that already had a lot of great things going on for it. This gives it another big boost. Here's yet another feature that comes along with Jasper. And here's a great thing about this. Jasper.AIR used to be a additional fee that you had to pay monthly. Now it's all clumped into the Jasper.AI overall. So you can get this with Jasper. You don't have to pay extra extra, another very big bonus. So as an example, you can utilize free form here, or you can use templates. I'm just going to go with something here with the template just to show you very quickly how it works. I'm going to go with realistic animals. Why not? I have a big cat sleeping in bed. That's what I did last. So let's do it again. Let's create art. I'll give it a second and get back to you when it's done. 
All right, and these are definitely fantastic. Something I've noticed with Jasper.ai art is that sometimes they can be hit or miss. And a lot of times it might be because you need to update your description, add it in more quality or more uh, instructions to make it sound better, to make it look better, to make it feel better, whatever it's going to be. But I noticed that when you do get that specific photo or art that you're looking for, it can look absolutely phenomenal. Like these, they look realistic. They look great. Probably a little bit more detail in terms of what we're looking at to get better art. But overall, that was a good example. All right, and last but not least, I wanna talk about the Jasper long form content creator. So this is gonna be very similar to like a Google Doc, which is so many different bells and whistles that you can utilize. All in all, what you're gonna be doing here is telling Jasper exactly what you want for content, and that's exactly what you're gonna get. So I put right an outline for a video called why golf is the most challenging sport. Let's do that right now. Let's click on compose and see what we get. All right, and what'll happen sometimes, you'll notice how we have only three, completely fine. What we can do is just click on compose and we'll get more. What's beneficial about this is that Jasper now allows unlimited amounts of content. So you can just go crazy with creating it. You don't have to worry about being, say, like having a limit on it where you don't want to create so much. Of course, they add a little bit extra. That's fine. Sometimes it does that. We just delete it. We move on and we're good from there. So that would be the conclusion. And now what you can actually do is just go through all of this and literally just compose each specific spot. Oops, sorry about that. I had a distraction, so I had to come back and uh, I don't know if there was like a mess up, but here I am anyway. So what we can do is just hover over this and it's gonna show you how you can actually utilize this with some short keys or you know keywords, how to use it and so on and so forth. But what I can do is if I highlight this, I can hold control, hit enter, and it'll create some content for us. So let me do that. Let's move out of this. Let's highlight this and see what we get. Right, of course, we can always write more. There's also the ability to retry the last output. You can do poor, you can do useful, of course, continue writing if needed. So if there's ever not enough content, just write more. So, but to quickly skim this, it's a precision sport that requires players to hit a small ball using various clubs, uh, played individually or with teams, 18 holes, so on and so forth. Looks great. I'm just talking about, you know, the quality, giving it a quick glimpse here. And of course, what I can do here is just talk more about the, say, physical challenge of walking the course. So what I can do is be more specific. So write a few paragraphs about the physical challenges of golf and then say, like, more specifically, walking the course. Okay, so something like that. I'm just going to separate this so it, it's there we go. And once again, let's create that content. All right, so we ended up getting three paragraphs there. Notice how when I was a little bit more specific, we got more. So it can be the most underestimated physical challenges of golf. Uh, golf covers uh, 6,900 yards, requires a player to walk three to four miles in competitive rounds. Players may have their own caddies who can carry their own bags for them, but in recreational games, it's expected that you will carry your own. Okay, it talks about terrain and of course, hazards and so on and so forth. So as you can see, it gets pretty straightforward when it comes to creating content this way. All it is is telling Jasper exactly what you want to talk about. So we created our outline. And then, of course, from there, we did talk about the definition of golf. And then, of course, we wanted to talk about the physical challenges of golf, more specifically walking it. And we can continue to do that with each and every single step. Whether you're going to be creating an article or a video script, it's pretty much going to be the same idea here. Pretty simple to use once you get used to the uh, like the uh, key phrases, not the key phrases. Here we go. The, the shortcuts here, like I said, it's going to be different if you're on PC or not, but there's a few that you can utilize here. And once you know those, you're going to be good to go in terms of writing your content for whatever you need. Now, what I want to do is quickly cap this off by talking about the Jasper.ai pros and cons. Pretty much right off the bat, one of the biggest pros that was just improved is the fact that they changed around their prices and now every single pricing plan gets unlimited words generated by AI. Aside from that, another big pro is that art, like I talked about previously, comes along with every single plan, another huge bonus. And of course, even the brand voice that I talked about in the beginning, this is going to be great for writing a lot of similar content, say for your articles or your blog, whatever it might be, because the last thing you want to do is have an, a lot of articles on your website, and then you start writing more and it sounds like someone completely different. You want to keep that voice congruent and brand voice can certainly help you do that. What else Jasper can help you with is the ability to provide a lot of unique templates, whether it's going to be safe for copywriting, 
emails, SEO, YouTube, blogs, you name it. They have 74 templates and a lot of them are really good in terms of getting the results that you want within each specific template. Heck, and if you want to change it up a little, there is even a specific template right here that you can generate a unique one for yourself. So say maybe there's a template in here that you want to create yourself. You can do that and then use that template to create even more content. And that's always a good thing. Jasper Chat is great, just another great way of creating content. Ask it a question, something that's on the top of your mind, whatever it's going to be. Utilize your brand voice, and of course, from there, generate some more content. Then, of course, we have the long form editor. I am talking about a lot of the pros, but I will mention some of the cons. There will be a slight learning curve with this. Right in the beginning, you might not be familiar with the short codes that I talked about, but once you pick up on those, once you realize that it's all about being very specific about what Jasper needs to do for you, it will get a little bit easier. Last thing, another minor critique might be that art isn't that bad. It is certainly improved overall, but I think it could be using a little bit more tweaks in terms of creating you know, more of a realistic images, depending on what you're looking for. Sometimes you'll have to try it multiple times. Sometimes you'll have to tweak around your descriptions. All in all, it is a very big improvement. And I still love the fact that it comes along with every Jasper plan right now. So of course, is Jasper worth it in this current year? Absolutely. I, I love the fact that Jasper is always improving. They always have new features, always have new templates. They're listening to their customers. They're adapting, they're improving. I know they just raised a ton of money, so they got a lot of good stuff going on for their company. Their quality of writing is fantastic. The ability to leverage that to your own brand voice is even more fantastic. And the fact that you now get unlimited content generation is two very big thumbs up for me. I highly recommend Jasper. And if, in case you haven't gotten to test them out, I will leave my link down below where if you click that, you can get a free trial for them. Thank you so much for checking out my Jasper AI review. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.